Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to consider the memory organization and data formats which are available in 8086 microprocessor, right? So uh, we have already discussed that memory is divided into various segments and we will be considering those facts, but one need to know a memory as a single chip or as, as a single bank of memory, how it is organized, how data is placed inside that memory and how one can actually uh, access the various information uh, which are stored inside the memory which is attached to 8086 or 8088 microprocessor, whether that specific information is a code or is a data, right? So let's start our this tutorial. So uh, memory which is attached to uh, microprocessor 8086 or 8088 is basically organized in terms of bytes. So every single location has around one byte of information, right? So uh, you know that uh, I, ha uh, I have shown uh, this BAM memory as a bank and you can see that uh, there is a uh, single rows which can be seen inside this memory. So every single uh, memory is basically can hold around one byte of information. That means we can store eight bit of information in every single uh, memory location, right? Uh, and uh, you know that uh, this memory is around how much one megabyte memory. So that means two power 20 or two raised to 20, 20 bit address is available. So if two 20 bit address is available, so if you convert it into hexadecimal, so 20 zeros will lead towards a minimum address, zero zero hex. So this left column of our diagram is basically address of the corresponding location, right? This is the location where we will store the information and this is the uh, address of the location, right? So you can say that zero 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 hacks and let's say its content is what its content is. I will put some information of eight bit, let's say two five hacks. So now you can see that in zero zero hacks location, which is the address of the location. And in that location, we have information two five hacks, right? Similarly, the maximum address because 20 bit, if you make them all of them high, uh, it will become uh, five times F. So the maximum address of this memory is five times F. And let's say the value uh, or the location whose address is five times F. I'm just putting a dummy data, right? It is not actual information. I'm just explaining it. So let's say it is seven, eight hacks, right? So a location with a maximum address is five times F and its content is what seven, eight hacks. And it is just for the purpose of explanation of this format, right? So one can see that the whole memory is divided into bytes, right? So every location is basically one byte uh, information. That is why since to one, one million location or one mega location. So total capacity is what one megabyte, right? Okay. One thing, uh, okay. This is what one byte, right? One byte information. There is some mistake Let me correct it. This is one byte information, right? Okay. Now, one thing we need to know that, okay, memory is organized in one byte uh, as a bytes, right? You can access this bytes, right? But microprocessor 86 or 88, right? They are what? They are 16 bit processors, right? These processors are what? 16 bit processors. So they actually need 16 bits processor, right? Both of them are what 16 bit processors, so they can actually process 16 bit of information. That means they will not access one byte of information or one location of information or one location from the memory. Rather, they will be accessing simultaneously two information, right? So uh, I will be considering this fact in more detail, but uh, you need to know that uh, this memory is divided into eight bits, right? But processors are what 16 bits. So simultaneously, one can easily say that, that this is leading toward the fact that simultaneously or two locations of memory, right, will be accessed simultaneously or at the same time, right? Whatever the thing you understand better. So you need to know why two locations because two processors are what? 16 bit processors and every location has holding around one byte of information that means it needs 16 which can come only from two location that is why two locations will be accessed uh, at the same time right so that that is how this memory is attached with the uh, uh, 8086 or 8088 microprocessor okay now we need to know one thing more 
that is basically we may uh, we uh, we have three types of data format byte a word and a pointer <laughs> byte means how much how many bits eight bits right there is no doubt this is quite clear but sig word means it is basically two byte information that means 16 bits right or similarly uh, pointer is what double word is e it is also known as double word you can call it double word or you can call it how many bits 32 bits right so uh, these are the uh, formats available in which data can be stored inside the memory organization or inside the memory which is attached to 8086 or 8088 microprocessor okay we will be considering them for example let's say uh, we have uh, this uh, this address is what's uh, 79 four two six right this is hex information next address would be what seven nine four two seven right so if i'm accessing a word information that means if i'm if i'm targeting seven two seven nine four two six that means automatically this will be patched and this includes or this uh, these two locations are making up what a word so 16 bit information will be accessed from 79426 and 79427 similarly if i am accessing double word or uh, locations or four different locations right that means if i am targeting 79426 so i will be not only fetching from information 79426 i will also fetch from 79426 the next will be what 79428 and the next would be what 7 nine four two nine so we will be fetching these four information as a double word and that is what a pointer right we will further investigate this thing in coming tutorial but we need to know at this stage there are only uh, three types of word format or data formats which can be used in 8086 byte byte means we are talking about only 8 bit word word means we are talking about 16 bits pointer pointer means we are talking about 32 bits right so I hope you have understand the concept of memory organization and how data are organized in that memory uh, using this one megabyte memory and using these different data formats. If still you have any query and confusion, you can post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.